and today I'll be teaching you how to convert the Panda 3D files models into Maya. And from there, you can explore the internet for the countless tutorials on how to do whatever the heck you want with them, pretty much. Which, uh, I am very proud to be bringing you this tutorial after much research and devotion to learning how. Um, alright. So, uh, the first step is actually getting the face files uh, open so you can edit them. And for that, you're gonna need Panda 3D. You're gonna need version 1.8.0. This will um, help you out. This is what Flapjack said, and Flapjack had the textures, so I will put a link in the video to her tutorial on how to open them up with textures and stuff, and then you don't have to worry about the one error that I have throughout this entire video that I haven't got rid of yet. And don't worry about it, it's not um, it's not a problem that can be concerning whatsoever. But uh, yes, moving on with the tutorial. Uh, we're going to have to get the files, so if we open up a file folder, like so, and we hit the uh, drive here, the, the C drive, and we should have both, uh, the, well I have two versions of it, this is the version of Flapjack recommended, you should have that one, um, but to get the files you're going to have to go to program files, uh, either 64 or 86 or any other number that might be there. And now scroll on down to where the T's are at. It's in an alphabetical order, so that's that's a bonus. Um, we have the two pound folders. I got Fellowship, Infinite Rewritten, and Funny Worms. So any of the ones that you want files from, uh, I'm just gonna pick from Rewritten, and uh, you'll have the files right here. These are it. Um, they are closed or whatever. So if you just copy them. You could take them out, but then you'd have to put them back in, and that's effort. So yeah, I'm just going to copy them, and then put them in a... I put them in a separate file. You could technically put them in any folder or on the desktop. The desktop's just a folder anyways. So, um, you just paste them in. I have them in Toon Town Phase files. That's the folder I chose. Alright. And then, you're going to have to go back in to your files. Just, um, I want this one. Go back in here and go back to this. Oh, remember that Panda 3D folder? Open that right on up. Hit the bin. And you're going to search here for these four things right here. So, they're, they're going to be here in, like, the whole video. So, um, if you, you don't have to worry about pausing all of a sudden to read what I have to say or whatever. Uh, but yeah, you're going to need BAM info, the multiplier. Uh, BAM to A and A to D X F. So, um, yeah. So now I guess is a good time to pause to get those on out. And to the next thing. I felt like I just got paused, so I had like an extra breath. That was a little weird. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so now you're gonna put the BAM info in this folder. The folder with your base files. And mainly what you need the most is the multiplier. So, once your folder pretty much just looks exactly like this. You're gonna just hold the shift key. Make sure you're not selected on anything. Hold the shift key down and um, right click. So uh, once you right click, you'll open the command window here. Open the command window. There it is. That's the command window. It's beautiful, isn't it? All right. Then you're gonna type in this beautiful code. All the codes are in the description. So it's multiply.exe and then. Um, Minus X minus F, just like that. Those are to open it. I don't know um, exactly what they mean, but those are it. I'm sure if you just type in minus X minus F, it will tell you. Command props pretty generous like that. And then you're just gonna type what phase you want. So I want phase four. Um, actually, let's do phase thirteen because I'm gonna do it all. Phase thirteen dot NF. Make sure to top that NF in there. Make sure if there's capitals, put capitals, you know, there isn't, but if there were, and hit enter. So, that should have, yes, it opened the file up there, see? 
So you want to go through and do um, that for all of them. Multiply EXE minus X minus X. Phase. You can do them in order so you don't get lost, but I want phase 4 for this demonstration. So I'll open up phase 4. It always opens 3 for me when I open 4. And then you can just go ahead and exit out when you're done with all of these. Uh, you should be able to just copy the code and start going. There's a, there's quite a few tutorials. Uh, you can watch Flapjack's tutorial. There's a few more on how to open the files. I just did this real quick to, to make it a little bit more convenient. Of course, I am encouraging you to see Flapjack's files. So you open this up, and you can convert any of these um, for Unity or uh, Maya or anything. It's not that hard. The audio whatever audio file you can go online and change these to mp4s uh, then the DNA you can open these with Greeny that's another program uh, it's got like the uh, if you watch Blackjack's tutorial she will go over that too so then you have your models which is the hardest part to open version alright so you're gonna want to pick a model to act on or something Go to just models. This is a good one. We got the pink, the clothes shop, the hag shop. Uh, all right, I can to open these. Like to look at them. See, so there's like a panda next to mine. You have to use the P of viewer. So that's in your bin, just like the bamboo egg and all the other things. So let's do the trolley station. Let's open it up and take a look. This is what my trolley station looks like. Your trolley station should have a texture on it. If you uh, follow the flapjack thing right, you will have a texture. One day I woke up and none of my stuff had textures. I don't know why that is, but yeah, so we'll take this out. Put them here. This is a BAM file. I'm gonna exit out. I don't need that. But uh, yes, so now on my desktop, my uh, kind of chalkboard area, I have my trolley station uh, underscore TT dot bam file. I got my bam to egg and I got my eggs to dxf. Alright. Those are the three things I need to make sure are in the same folder together. Now if I have the dxf gone right now it's fine because I'm not using it. But as soon as I use it I need to have it next to the egg file. So let's create the egg file. So holding shift, we'll make sure we're not selecting on that. Hold shift, left click, open the command window here. Here it is, the command window. And this code it, codes are my favorite because they're super easy. But it's fam to a well I'm being really good at this. And then trolley underscore station. Oops. That's station right there, station. Underscore. I think it's just normal TT. If you click rename, I'll show you. You can also rename this, and as long as you uh, don't click enter, you should be Trolley Station underscore capital TT. Make sure that's capital. Alright, we don't want to be confusing it. And then you have to do dot bam. Make sure you put dot bam the dot bam. Alright. Now here's the hardest part of this code. You have to click minus and then zero. This is the conversion symbol to convert files. Alright, that's it. <laughs> and then we can rename it. Let's name it um, Trolley uh, Plat. Because I like that name better. And then we're going to convert it to what? A dot egg file. Alright? Now, even if you keep this the same, it'll it'll still do what I what's going to happen in the end. Your texture should be on there. Mine won't be in the same as in the texture there. And yeah, so we're going to click that, it's going to do all of that all the way down. Uh, it'll tell me that I couldn't find the texture over and over, it tried multiple times to find it. It couldn't, it looked through all the different, this is how many folders I have with um, that texture in it. And for some reason, it couldn't put the texture on there. I'm not sure why that is. There might be someone who can tell you, but I can't. And uh, yeah, so here it is trolley. It, it appears in the same folder that you created it in, so I wouldn't feel too lost. Like, where is it gonna appear? Like, where does it spawn? It'll spawn right where you made it, so there's that. Alright, 
I'm gonna exit out of this because I want a clean slate also. It doesn't really matter. You can continue typing here because they're still in the same one. But if you needed to, you could do that. So you just click shift, right click, make sure you're not selected on everything, open command window. Bam. My fresh new command window. Alright. So now you're, instead of, it's the same code, but instead of putting bam to egg, you're gonna put egg to dxf. So you type that in. Type in your dxf name. I put troll. Huh. <laughs> Troll black. Wow, okay, I'm good at this. Egg. And then you're gonna need your conversion sign still. And then troll underscore plat. And then dot. What do we want it to be? D X F. These codes are really easy. I wouldn't put them in the description if I, you know, didn't think you might want to just save them away so you don't have to come back to my video whenever you forget. But yeah, click that. Uh, see, we're good. It doesn't have to worry about a texture because the original didn't have the submit no texture. Now you have it, DXF. All right. So if you try to open a DXF uh, file into Maya, it will not work. All right. It doesn't work. Um, which you know sucks. Uh, but whatever. So that's pretty much it. I mean, you got the DXF. Now you just need another something to convert it from a DXF to an FBX. That's your final conversion. Um, in order to do that, you're going to need a program. It's right here at the top. It's the FBX converter. So, in case you're wondering, this is the website that you're going to be looking at. And you can just download it for Windows. I don't have a 64, so I just download it for Windows. And there's one for Mac, so I don't feel like you're left out if you're on a Mac. And, uh, yeah, I'll have the link to that in the description. Also, you're going to need my Maya isn't free, everything else is free. This isn't free at all. Unfortunately, you do get a 30 day trial. I'm using that. Not too bad. But uh, to use the DXF converter, open it on up. Hello, DXF converter. And the cool thing about this is you can make multiple windows. And whatnot. It's pretty sweet. I mean, I don't know. And it's got a couple other tools, but yeah. So down here we have the add button. Uh, if I could zoom in on that, I would. I will. And you just click that, you scroll down, you hit the trolley.dxf. It'll only read the DXF files, it won't read the egg file. So you have to convert it um, to DXF. And you convert it to DXF, it automatically thinks that it's going to be converting it. See, FBX down here. I think you could switch these, but there's no need to enable anything. Um, there's change where it's going to spawn right there. Rename the file when it goes through. If you didn't rename it already, you can just rename it when it comes back up. And then finally, you're gonna click convert. So it's green. So I'm converting. And there it is. It's your final file, and you'll be able to open this in Maya very easily. Now, this is where my error comes up. You probably won't have this error, but yeah. So I have both my LT and um, just uh, my box, which is also fine, so I'm going to open that up. Um, this program likes to freeze on me a lot, it doesn't like me, they probably like you better. You know, all sorts of things. Link in the description for the download. Um, from here, you should be able to fix whatever you need to fix and be able to convert it over to Unity. I can't convert it over to Unity because it doesn't have any normals and the mesh is mixed up, which I think might be because I don't have a texture. Alright, cool. I'm glad that there's new features. Alright, so once you have this open, uh, it doesn't look too similar. Like, the two programs look slightly different. But you are going to be able to import them the same, which is to go to File, and then down to wherever it says Import. Then you're going to select the desktop, because that's where it's at, or wherever. And there it is. That's your trolley station. See? if You, can, you have a wireframe here, so you can pop it out. For me, it's flat and there's no texture and I don't know if you, it would turn out flat if you um, had it like if you had the texture if it would still be flat or not but mine is flat I have no idea why this is but I guess I'll get over it right <laughs> all right so you can see the trolley in there the wireframe and everything it's a very interesting wireframe by the way uh, yeah and that's it pretty much I mean here they are. So just follow Flapjack's tutorial, then come on over here, convert the three files, get it in here. Someone else might have better trick than me, 
but uh, this is what I got. Um, I hope this video was helpful, and I hope the Toontown community can seek out a future in a better and more efficient gaming engines. Alright.